I see lots of things in Leia already. She's walking. Because remember we talked about the whole diagnosis thing and applied kinesiology if the muscles turning on and off? See a little bit of blood sugar, a little bit of thyroid, a um, <laughs> little bit of kidney stuff. So there's possibly lots of things going on here, but we'll see. So I'm going to check a couple things here. I'm just looking at her posture, see what's going on here. You can see she has a really high shoulder on this side. Her head goes this way too, her shoulders go this way. I'm going to put my hands on your hips, is that okay? Yeah. I hope you're not ticklish. Okay. And her hips go that way too. So hips, shoulders, head, that tells me a muscle right here, glute medius. That's related to reproductive function. I don't know if that's her biggest thing in her body, but that's something going on. <laughs> So that would be related to ovaries, things like that. Um, also, I see a little bit of thyroid going on, too, just the way her hands kind of, when she walks, her hands are like this. And the thyroid muscle is an external rotator, so it would bring the hands like this so you walk more aerodynamic. Let's just check that muscle. Okay, hold your hand like that. I'm going to push your wrist into your belly button. You push out. Okay. Are you pushing? Mm -hmm. Okay, push hard. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there's not much going on there. Um, can you lay on your side on the table facing this way? I just want to check that glute medius in your hip and see if that's working or not. You can leave them on, that's fine. Okay, lay on your side. Kind of let that one hang out there. <coughs> Hold on right with this one. There we go. Bend your leg, please. Okay, bring this up in the air. Rotate forward a little bit. Okay, push your foot up in the air. I'm going to push down. Ow. That's all you got? All right, come on. On the count, on the count, on the <laughs> with just the pinky, on the count of three, <laughs> one, two, three, go, go, come on, Leah. <laughs> All right, come on up. What we're going to do is we're going to use the acupuncture system to tell us what Leah's weakest point is. Now, the acupuncture system is kind of a backup for the nervous system. We use the nerves much more, but the acupuncture system is kind of like a little bit finer energy than the nervous system. So let's have you laying your back right here. And if any of you in the Chinese medicine program here, you know about the pulse points. But I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to sit there and feel them. I'm just, we're just going to muscle test them. So let's see. Let's get a strong muscle here. Push towards your head. I'm going to push down to the table. Hey, we found a strong one. That works. That's good. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just going to have her contact her own pulse points. This is something we call therapy localization. Now in applied kinesiology, we actually use four pulse points. We found there's also a circulation sex one actually right up on the base of the scaphoid right here. Conception vessel, governing vessel, the, the front and back channels. Dr. Goodhart found that through muscle testing. He was actually one of the first people to bring Chinese medicine into the U.S. He actually started teaching um, Chinese medicine here before Nixon ever went on his trip over to China. So hold that there. I'm going to push your leg down. You push up towards your head. Okay. Push. Push. Push up strong. Okay. So there's one week on that side. Let's just check the other side. And we're just going to check one at a time. So conception and governing vessel. Push up. That one's good. Okay, we're going to the metal element here. Push up. That's good. Go to earth. Push up. All right, and just as I thought, fire. Push up. Push, 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 push. Okay, so fire. And what we tested before, thyroid and reproductive, that's all fire element in the body. So we got to diagnose which one is her primary weakness. Because if you just work in the secondary weakness, you still have something weaker in the body. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So if you pull a chain, if you make all the links strong except the weakest one, it's still going to break at the weakest link. So this is how we find out where to start for a patient. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to test those muscles again. Let's start with the teres minor. Let's have you stand up so everyone can watch. I'm standing right here, please. Face this way. So again, teres minor for thyroid. Push out. All right, we didn't fix that one yet. 
Now the alarm point for that is on the conception vessel. Let me borrow your hand here. Just give me kind of three fingers together. And just hold that right about there. Okay, I'm just having her add some energy to the alarm point for the triple warmer, triple heater. <coughs> Push out. Push out. Push. Push. <laughs> That's good. That means, yes, this is the weakest link. Because if it was still weak while she went to the alarm point for that meridian, then we know that's not the one we need to work on. But let's check what's going on with those, with the glute medius and the ovaries, okay? Laying your side again and face that way. That way? Yep. Alright, so bend your legs. Bring this up. Okay. Push up in the air. Alright, nothing <laughs> going on there. So, what I'm going to have her do, since I I think it's triple warmer is the one that she needs to uh, actually work on. I'm going to have her contact triple warmer again. A little higher, right there. Push up strong. Push up. Push. That's good. That's excellent. That's where we need to start. Come on up. So, this is kind of like if I was bowling, and I really don't bowl, but if I was bowling, what I'd want to do is hit the first pin and knock all the rest down, instead of trying to knock the pins down one by one. That's what we're going to do with her, is we're going to go to that triple warmer point, and that's going to fix up other things in her body, because that's the weakest link. So that brings up all the energy in her body. It's even going to bring up her reproductive. Some other things. So if thyroid's low, what well, are some other symptoms that she could have? Anybody? Well, something we could kind of correlate with an organ. Okay, digestive stuff, right? If it's low, if it's high, she has diarrhea. It depends which way the <laughs> thyroid goes. Do you have any digestive problems? Um, yeah, but not really, like alternating kind of stuff. Alternating stuff. <laughs> now, this is a really big thing. Sometimes your thyroid goes from hyper to hypo all day long. So that's where you can kind of alternate between depression, and anxiety, being cold and warm, um, constipation, diarrhea, kind of alternates back and forth. So laying it back, let's just check a few digestive things and see if Thyroid also helps with that too. S let's see, okay. Let me just check colon. We'll take a look at colon. That's related to the t tensor fascia lata muscle. Push up and out. I'm going to push down to your other foot. Okay, that muscle is definitely weak. Let's see, we're going to try a quadriceps here. Push up to the sky. I'm going to push down to the floor, down to the table with your foot. She's really trying. Push. Okay. Now, she's definitely, you know, not like a bodybuilder type, but still, her quad should be able to lift me off the table. You know, this is, this is a strong muscle. And just for the heck of it, we're going to try a stomach muscle, which is one of the pec pectoralis muscles. Oh, that's actually a bad shoulder. You have to use that one. Oh, well, oh, this might be what's going to fix it. Okay. Push in across that way. I'm going to push out. So that's week two. What I'm hoping is, as we bring up this triple warmer meridian, it's going to turn all that back on. So let's see. So again, just contact here. Let's start from the lower end like we did before. Push up and out. I'm going to push down here. <sighs> Makes colon better. That's good. Let's see about the quadriceps, which is small intestine. Okay. Push your foot to the ceiling. I'm going to push down to the floor. That's on. And let's check her bad shoulder. She said before, oh, do we have to test that side? I have a bad shoulder. I said, well, perfect. Let's see if it makes the bad shoulder side strong. Push across. I'm going to push out. <sighs> Much more strength. So you can see how working on her triple warm reading is going to bring up all the health in her body. So just hold on to that for a few weeks, and we'll see how you're doing from there, okay? <laughs> All right. So now, what do we do with this? Well, and you, of course, we're going to use the holistic approach to healthcare. We want to see if there's any structural imbalances related to that. So structural imbalances mean, where does that meridian run? Where is its associated point in the spine and rib heads? We're going to get all those channels clear for the energy to run through. Also, any emotional things that could be related with that. Check the meridian and related muscle to emotional reflex points and things like that. Also, we got to check nutritional. And since we're on a biochemical demonstration side here, let's just check some nutrition and see what would help with her. 